Welcome back to Home Cooking, where there are plenty more home-cooked treats in store. Coming up, Chef Patrick Williams invites me for a family lunch full of Caribbean flavor. And the Huff family put the finishing touches to their fish pies. Hidden away in the heart of London's legal district lies the Terrace in the Fields. Owned by Chef Patrick Williams since 2005, the Terrace serves British classics with a contemporary Caribbean twist. Two Marge, two fish cake star, two jerk. Wait a Patrick's mission is to prove that Caribbean food isn't all spice and starch, as some people think. But does he use a taste of the Caribbean in his home cooking? Hello, very well, thank you. Mm. Mm. Debbie? Hi, Debbie. Hi. How are you? Olivia and Joshua. Hi, Joshua. <laughs> Hi. Okay, so this is the kitchen. Ah, Obviously so this is going to be an oxtail stew? An oxtail, oxtail, yeah, an oxtail stew. I mean, I have a few favourites, oxtail being one of them, and I think it's more of a childhood thing. So, yeah. So I've got, I've got some pimento seeds, so I'm going to put a few in here. Okay. Uh, let me smell. Yeah. Also known as allspice berries, you know. Yeah. Some black pepper. Are pimento seeds used a lot in Jamaican cooking? Yes. In jerk seasoning, um, it's the, the main, apart from Scotch wine, it being the, the heat. The oh. pimento seeds are the, the spice and the flavour oh, around really? the jerk seasoning. Right. Okay, if you just go. All of us? Yeah. Oh, wow. Just put all of it on. Seriously. Spice. Yeah, I'll like get, get in and give it a good mix. I mean, I think people have got a misconception about Caribbean food. It's all hot all the time. But sometimes it's seasoned well and it's depth of flavour. Sometimes it is. As absolutely opposed to hot, hot spices. Yeah, exactly. That's why right. we're using the Scotch bonnet in this recipe. But we're using them whole. We're going to put it in whole oh, so I we can see. remove it to take the heat out when we want. So if you just stand back there, just on the burner. Okay, it's very important to get it hot enough. Obviously, as soon as the meat goes in there, the juices start to cool the pan down and we don't want it to boil. We want it to actually brown and seal. Okay, we can leave that to brown okay. and then we can get on cutting up some of the vegetables. Right. Okay. Um, what we're using is uh, onions, peppers, tomatoes, scotch bonnet and garlic. And these Onion. scotch bonnets, these are just the hottest. Are they are, the they're hot. You wouldn't exactly. No, no. <laughs> well, well, they do. In, in the Caribbean, they do serve it chopped up, just on the side, as is. Do they? So you can munch on it as well. Really? That's for the brave. That's for the brave. <laughs> okay. Very brave. An onion there. And is this something that little Joshua likes? Little... Yeah, Joshua, when he was younger, it seemed to be his favourite, uh, one of his favourite dishes. And I think it's that gelatinous content. It was quite easy to mush down when it, once it was cooked. Did you eat a lot of this kind of food when you were growing up? I think the, the, the fantastic thing is, Obviously, being born in London, you get Caribbean fear. That's all you ever, that's all I ever ate. Really? My mum Always only, Caribbean food. Only Caribbean Always Caribbean food. food. And Caribbeans, when we, when we cook, we cook just in case somebody drops in. Just in case. Back in the day in the Caribbean, if you didn't have anything, you know, if you had no money or no riches, you always had food. And if somebody came into your house, the, the least you could offer them is food. I will just quickly blanch some tomatoes. Okay. And I'll also put those in. I'm going to get the peppers in now, yeah? Okay. I just don't like skin yeah, much in the cooking. Yeah, it doesn't break down so well. Okay. in. Okay. Meat will go back into the uh, pan with the vegetables. Give it a quick stir. Only things left to do now is add your stock or water and then your scotch bonnet. Okay. And that will be left for an hour and a half to two hours until the meat falls off the bone. What I'd like to serve with the oxtail is the classic rice and peas got here beans that have been soaked overnight. Time. Okay. I'm going to throw a scotch bonnet in again. Whole. Oh, this is, just this is season, interesting. Not for any heat at all. We add the rice. I tend to use basmati. And with that as a base and the oxtail, I think you've got a match made in heaven there. Was that coconut milk? Poured in coconut milk. This is a stock that we cook around the peas. The basmati rice gets added to this. I see. So we've got in here the kidney beans, garlic, onion, Coconut milk. Wow, great. And so so this will you... cook for about half an hour, 45 minutes? Yes, or until your peas are soft. Okay, Rachel, I think it's uh, time for the rice to go in. So the okay. kidney beans are at this stage cooked. Give it a good stir. Yeah, I'm just going to top it with a cartouche, which is just a posh name for a piece of round greaseproof paper. <laughs> but you know, from time the top gets really dry in the oven. Yeah. And hard, this seals everything in, and you should come out with a perfect dish. So, just going to put that into the oven. Should take between 10 and 15 minutes to cook. That's it. Okay. Oh, look. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> Thank you. This looks yummy, doesn't it, Joshua? Oh. oh, look at that. Oh, it's so tender. Falling off the bone. 
<laughs> Debbie, do you cook much at home? No, not really. I leave most of it to Patrick. I do cook for Joshua and me sometimes. Okay. And if you do cook, does he watch over your shoulder? It's more sort of once he's eaten the food. That... <laughs> Patrick and Debbie, thank you so much. This has been great. Delicious food. I love that oxtail, Patrick. Thank you. Glad you liked it. Mm.